Mason, how is your tattoo removal going? Yeah, not bad. They're fucking... How painful is it? Oh, it's top 10 worst pain I've ever felt, wow. for sure. But, like... Fuck, no. It just sucks, because, like, last time I had to get it, I had, like, a mask on while I was doing it. So, like, mm. I felt like I was going to pass out. Oh, uh, so, like, yeah. Kind of, I kind of, like, pulled the mask down, just, like... Be able like, to breathe. So I could feel breathe. the pain. Yeah. 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 What is so the I, pain um, feel like? Uh, I, I, I guess it feels like if you had a lighter up to your skin, but, like, just the tip Ooh. of the flame's touching you. Oh. Like, Kind of like that. Mm. So it's just like a. It's like having the flame like faint close. burn. Yeah. Faint burn, yeah. But, it, but it's still enough of a burn to be like, fuck, that's constantly discomforting. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. Because how like, long does I it last? Like, like the sessions. Uh, it depends how big the tattoo is, but they just trace over it. Mm -hmm. right. But how many sessions have you had? I've had two, so I've still got to go for like six more. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, you're um, lucky that you don't have many tattoos. Could be a yeah, lot. I know. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh my god, you see those clips of like the before and after people are like completely like covered up like body tats, face tats, and then like clean in the next photo. I can't even imagine how long that takes. Mm. Yeah, the thing is when you yeah. get it, I don't know if it's just me, but like you, your body just twitches. Mm. Like you kind of like shake a lot. I don't know. What do you do during the sessions? Do you just lie there or do you... Um, you just lie in a chair. You just lie in a chair or... and like they do wherever the tattoo is and surely they, they like offer you a beer or a drink or something right kind of like a barbershop like shit if you can drink nah. a beer having the fucking your hair cut surely you can get one where you're getting your painful tattoos I don't, think you're able, <laughs> they, I don't think you're able to drink a beer or anything while you're getting that shit done yeah what? they actually just Torture hurl insults that. at you it's like a whole humiliation thing they just say, yeah you like that you fucking little bitch Jesus. <laughs> like, I think you're a psychopathic of a tattoo removal artist today i learned i think they say sugar's good <laughs> like if you have a little bit of sugar well, if you're going to be sitting somewhere where you're going to be in pain for a while, if you have, like, something sugary that you can just snack on. Like, when I go to my sleeve sessions, I bring, like, a bag of some sort of candies. And then I'll just, like, snack <laughs> on them as I'm, as I'm getting it well, done. Sure. Yeah. Really, it just helps because it's just a nice distraction, you know? It's just, That's like, true. a it nice might be that. mouth sensation while you're enjoying your... I just imagine you sitting yeah. down to get tattoos removed and you're just shambling spoonfuls of sugar into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and crying oh, and saying a stop. spoonful of sugar <laughs> makes the medicine go down just <laughs> <laughs> like spoonful after spoonful of a raw sugar <laughs> just chewing on the cane the worst part about <laughs> tattoos in my opinion and removal I assume is similar is just like the time it takes like, like the mm. pain isn't that bad but sitting there for five hours in constant pain is pretty bad it's like getting your eyebrows tweezed. Especially because well, I never do anything to entertain myself. I always just sit there and I'll talk to the artist, but I never like... Some people bring headphones and they'll watch movies or something or listen to a podcast, but like, I, I feel awkward doing that. It feels like then the tattoo artist is just sitting there in silence the whole time. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I feel sorry for yeah, you. Yeah, but isn't it... Isn't it kind of like just one of those things you get over, like, like talking to your Uber driver or something, where it's just like you... I, I remember when Uber first came out, I felt that way every time I got into a car with an Uber driver. Yeah, now like, it's weird if they talk to you. Like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, but it's, it's yeah, I no, feel it's, like it's different well, because... You know, I still chat to them, but... With a tattoo artist, they're, like, stuck in a room with you for, like, five mm. hours straight. And if they're just mm. sitting there the whole time not talking, it might feel a bit shitty. I don't know. Unless but you have an agreement it also with suck the artist being a tattoo. and you both wear yeah. headphones and you both, like, just do your own thing the whole time. I don't know. Mm. I, I would definitely talk. I wouldn't just like go there without saying yeah. anything first and just like yeah. headphones on. But I would be like, because you never know. Maybe it sucks for them being the tattoo artist and they're locked in a conversation with this boring cunt that just happens to want a tattoo. Mm, that's true. Like,